I check the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer daily to see how the global climate data is changing. And what I can say for certain is that 2024 is starting out extraordinarily hot. We know that 2023 was easily the warmest full year that the planet has experienced since the start of the Industrial Revolution. And both January and February of 2024 were record hot months globally, again since the start of the Industrial Revolution. Now that we are mostly through the month of March, it certainly looks like 2024 is starting out in record-breaking territory. This chart from the Climate Reanalyzer includes global average temperature data since 1940. The heavy black line in the chart shows global average temperature so far for 2024. It's clear from these data that the global average surface air temperature has been in record territory or near record territory since the start of the year. When we look at just the northern hemisphere surface air temperatures, we see that they are quite warm, but not primarily in record territory. On the other hand, when we focus on just the southern hemisphere, we can see that average surface temperature in the southern hemisphere has been mostly in record territory since the start of 2024. The Climate Reanalyzer also provides data just for the tropical region between 23.5 degrees south latitude and 23.5 degrees north latitude. The data from this region has been in record territory for essentially all of 2024 so far. During the latter part of 2023 and the beginning of 2024, El Nino conditions have added to warming in the tropics, and that definitely has contributed to the record global average surface temperatures. The current El Nino has been weakening and is expected to be over by April of 2024. It will be very interesting to see if record global average surface temperatures persist once the El Nino is over. The Climate Reanalyzer also provides information on sea surface temperature, which is shown in this chart. And we can see from the chart that the global average sea surface temperatures have been in record territory since the start of 2024. This is an indication that much of the excess heat going into the atmosphere from both climate change and shorter term weather patterns continues to be absorbed by our oceans, which cover some 70% of the planet. It will be very interesting to see how the sea surface temperature changes as we move into spring and summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. Stay tuned and hang on. We may be in for a very bumpy ride for the rest of the year.